a study from ApartmentFinder.com says only about 12% of single people in Buffalo are actually satisfied with the dating options here. I took this question to you on Facebook, and many agree. Matchmaker Lisa Bridges is co-owner of Matchmaking to a T. She says your phone and what's on it could be to blame. There's really no real connection with people, and they're swiping and looking for the, a picture, and you're not going to find love in a picture. It's the day and age of dating apps, social media, and accessibility to the internet and to communication. One person on Facebook writes, I gave up on dating. Another says, last year I tried a dating app for 12 hours. I felt like I was catalog shopping. Another writes, I truly believe social media has made dating and real relationships almost impossible. They want things in the instant, and they want that connection like you, you're saying. You know, They want that connection instantly, and it doesn't happen like that. It takes time. It takes time. Bridges says as much as that instant gratification can be fun, we have to go back to the basics. That's what her business helps people do. Cut out the phone, the social media, the texting, the middleman, and focus on developing a genuine connection. I've, you know, Teresa and I both have a lot of marriages and engagements. A couple just got married last year that I introduced. Bridges says her matchmaking business takes it back to the basics. Are these people deep down a good match? She says a big reason a lot of couples don't work out, they don't give their relationship enough time to develop. This could be a potential really great match. Just because you're giving one quick drink or date or when, you know, it, it doesn't, it takes time. There's some really great people, really great people out there. And especially in Buffalo, I, I love Buffalo and Buffalo is love. And for people to say that we're ranked, what, 82 on the list, it's insanity. That's just crazy to me. Okay, guys, so the best thing to do, according to the experts, mm -hmm. actually get to know someone. Stop swiping just for looks and stop thinking that everyone is replaceable. Also, we touched on the term of ghosting. That basically means poof. Somebody just disappears, you may have a couple of great dates. Well, dating experts say we really as a society need to change that. If you are not interested in dating someone anymore, just tell them, be honest, don't just disappear on them. Hmm. Keith, what's your, what's your line? You always <laughs> tell me. This is all foreign to me because I've been out of the dating scene for, for quite a while. But, but we have a lot of young ladies yeah. in our newsroom mm -hmm. and these relationships come and go on a frequent basis. <laughs> so, and I've been around for a while, so I, I just say, madam, Guys are like streetcars. If you miss one, you catch the next one going by. <laughs> and right? we rely on that it's, advice heavily. Keith. There's Thank almost you. a bumper sticker that is on our walls in the, in the newsroom <laughs> with that exact yeah. quote. Well, I used to be there when I was yeah. young. I remember it's terrible at the time, but believe me, folks, you'll get over it. And when Your the right person one is, is out there. Yes. Sooner or later, he or she will show up. That's they right. Will. Wanting to borrow some money, probably. <laughs> Well, no matter if you're on a date tonight or not, you'd better bundle up out there. Andy Parker's with us now. He's tracking a frigid forecast. Yeah, I don't know. We were saying, does a, does a super cold night work well for the romance or not? Yeah. I don't know if that enhances it. Up. It encourages closeness. You know?